So Malcolm is investigating the ages of the 200 members of the theater company. The table below gives information about the age group of each member of the company. Like 23 out of 200 members age is in between 10 to 20. 47 members out of 200 members is in between 20 to 30. 56 members out of 200 members is in between 30 to 40. So the information is given in this way, in this table. Now, Malcolm is going to draw a pie chart for this information. And you already know how to draw a pie chart. A pie chart is actually a circle. And in the circle, we have to draw multiple sectors and those sectors will represent the information of each row of this table. The angle of that sector or the region of this, that sector is gonna represent informations of each row from this table. So look at the first question, I'm in A. Calculate the size in degrees of the angle of the sector in the pie chart for those members of the company whose age group is 40 to 50. So that means we need to find out an angle of the sector in the pie chart or in the circle that's gonna represent the information of this particular row, 40 to 50. Okay, so how do we do it? Simple. The frequency of this row, it has to be in the position of the numerator 48 and total frequency, the total number of members that's 200. It should be in the position of the denominator and we need to multiply it with 360 degree. Why 360 degree? Because we are uh, dividing the angle at the center of a circle in multiple sector to represent the information of each row of the table, right? So as we have to find out the angle representing sector of row four, so that's why 48 divided by 200 multiplied by total angle at the center of the circle. And the result is going to be 86.4. If you calculate it with the help of your calculator, the result is gonna be 48 into 360 divided by 200. That's 86.4. It's 86.4. Okay, so this is how you can calculate the angle. Angle representing this information. Okay, fine. So let's move on to next question. Calculate the estimate for the mean age to the nearest year of the of the members of this of the theater company. Now, in case of finding out mean, it said that estimate for the mean. Now, why this is an estimate? I'll come to that. But before um, I'll come to that, let me at first uh, show you. Uh, let me at first show you the way to find out the mean of this table. So here you can see that. The interval is given and corresponding frequency is also given. Now, if we want to find out the mean, the formula is, the formula is you have to take the average of each interval and you need to multiply it with the corresponding frequency. So for your better understanding, what you can do here, you can make a table, you can extend that table You can extend the table and let's say, for example, XI and FI. X is the midpoint of each interval. That means 15 for the first row and the corresponding frequency is 23. Now for second row, it's 25. Third row, it's 35. Fourth row it's 45 and fifth row is 55. Now, while finding out the mean, we need to multiply this mid value of each interval with the corresponding frequency and we need to add all of them and we need to divide 
the total value of the product of this frequency and mid value of interval by the total frequency. So it will be 15 into 23 plus 25 into 47 plus 35 into 56 plus 45 into 48 plus 55 into 26. And you need to divide it by total frequency. And what's the total frequency? The total frequency is, you need to add it, <coughs> add it up. You don't have to add it up. The value is already given, it's 200 members. So it will be 200. Now from here, if you calculate it, you will get your results. So be very careful while calculating it. Don't make a mistake. So 0.7070 0, divided by 200. And that's gonna be 35. It will be actually 35, 35, but they have asked us to find out the estimate for the mean age to the nearest year, nearest year. So it's 35.35, so ultimately it will be 35 years. So that's how you can find out the mean of this uh, mean, uh, mean age to the nearest year of the members of this theater company. Now, I was saying uh, at first of explaining this question that why this is called as an estimate for the mean age. Why this is called as the estimate for the mean age. It's called as the estimate for the mean age because look at here, we have considered the age of this 23 members as 15, age of this 47 members as 25, age of this 56 members as 35. But is it possible? It's highly unlikely because out of this 200 members, you're gonna find 23 members whose age is uh, the mid value of 10 to 20, that means 15, or mid value of 20 to 30, that is 25. It's highly unlikely. Okay, it's highly unlikely. So that's why the value, the mean value we have found out, it's actually an estimated value, but it won't be that much out of the true value. It will be close to the true value, but as we are uh, estimating this ages, average age, while considering each row, so that's why uh, um, this value is actually an estimated value. Okay, fine. So let's move on to next question. Thank you. 